Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. For today's video, I'm going out to the range with my Dragon Claw 50 cal air gun. Real quick, if you're not familiar, I'll give you a quick overview. This is the Dragon Claw 50 cal air rifle. Looks like it's got three barrels up here. The bottom two are tanks. The top one is the 50 caliber barrel. Comes with iron sights on it. It's got dovetail mount here, so I just recently put a scope on it and sighted it in. And yeah, it slings 50 caliber air pellets, if you want to call them that. But a lot of you guys have been asking me since I got this thing, what kind of accuracy and precision can we get out of it? Well, that is the whole purpose of this video. Check it out. So far, I have got two different types of boo lots or pellets, if you want to call them that. I'll show you here. Well, let me show you the top of the box here first. Seneca by Air Venturi, big bore air gun pellets. We'll call them pellets. Let me show you the side of the boxes here. Two different ones I got here. On the top, we have the 185 grain, what they call the PHP. I'll show you what those are in a second. Then on the bottom, the 177 grain, a little bit lighter RB, that stands for round ball. Let me show you real quick. These are the 185 PHPs, 185 grain. If I can get this to focus here. There we go. It's kind of hard to get a camera to focus on these. They kind of have a pentagon hollow point there. And then the back of them is flat. So this will be the front there. We're going to do a couple groups at 50 yards with these. And then we have some round balls. These are a little bit lighter, 177 grain. Pretty much exactly what you would think. Round 50 caliber balls of lead there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two different types of lead projectiles. I'm going to head out to the range with the air powered dragon claw and just see at 50 yards, slow down, see what kind of groups I can get at 50 yards. Uh, reading from a lot of reviews, I think we're going to do pretty good. Uh, but hey, I'm super, super getting into the air gun stuff. I got this Dragon Claw from Pyramid Air. If y'all have never been on Pyramid Air, go check them out. They're the oldest and the biggest air gun supplier that's ever been. They've been selling air guns almost as long as I've been alive. So needless to say, they're definitely the experts. They got really cool stuff like the Dragon Claw, pistols, rifles. If you can dream it up, they probably have an air gun that flings air pellets out of it. Go check them out. I'll have some links down below. Y'all go check out Pyramid Air. But let's go ahead to the range. Slow down. See what kind of groups I can get with these two different types of air pellets. Should be pretty cool. Got all kinds of stuff in there. Two, three shot groups with the round balls. Same thing with these pentagon that is rounds. back from the range be quite honest the results kind of surprised me let's take a look at the target here so let's look at this uh, this half of the target first so this was again 50 yards with the dragon claw and 
I did the full power cock the whole time. If you're not familiar with the Dragon Claw, go back and check out. We've done some videos on this thing kind of in more in detail. But there's two settings, two power settings. Full power, you cock it all the way back. Low power, you kind of cock it two-thirds of the way. And you can get more uh, shots out of a tank refill. But this is with the round balls. So those just, just like you think, round balls, those 50 caliber round balls at 50 yards. So two three shot groups. Our first attempt, we had two touching. Very impressive, at least in my book for an air gun. You might not think that they can do that, but they can. We got two in the same hole. That one was a little bit further away, but that three shot group was a 1.7 inch group at 50 yards. So if you were holding on a deer heart, you smoke them. And then the second attempt we got, also I'll go back and mention, um, just in case anybody's asking, what I did for these groups was I filled up the tank all the way to the top and then did two three shot groups. And then for the second group, I did the same thing. So this is starting with maximum power on the air gauge there or the tank gauge, three shots, full power. Then on my second attempt, three more shots, 2.42 inch group. So with the round balls, I got a 1.70 and a 2.42. There was quite a bit of wind out there, but I don't think enough to mess with it at 50 yards. But that's with the round ball. Then flip it around. This is what surprised me. So with that little uh, Pentagon front hollow point, in my mind, I kind of assumed for some reason that those would group better. But hey, at the range, the round balls did quite a bit better. Here's what we got for those pentagons. I even drew the little shape there. And again, I filled up the tank before I did this. So uh, on a full tank, I did a three shot group and got a 3.49 inch group. Right there, boom, boom, boom. And then down here, interestingly enough, I got two in the same hole, but then one, the impact was over four inches away, um, which is kind of odd, but Got two touching. Maybe some of that was my trigger squeeze and my hold. Hard to say. But 3.49 inch group with those pentagon ones. One, two, three right there. And then a 4.27 inch three shot group, but with two touching. But all in all, um, I think I have a lot more confidence in those round balls, uh, to tell you the truth. And they're a little bit lighter. Let me uh, show you the boxes here again real quick. The 177 grain round ball, the ones on the top, that's what grouped the best for us. And then on the bottom, those Pentagon ones, 188, or 185 grain rather. But hey, let me know what you think. Did you think the round balls were gonna do better or the Pentagon ones? I kind of would have put my money on the Pentagon ones, but hey, group testing so far um, with this Dragon Claw, been a lot more impressed with the round balls. now. I'm looking for some more pellets that we can test out. We're definitely going to do some more group testing as soon as I can get some of those in. See if we can find a weight that this thing loves the most. So, so far, the round balls are doing the best for us. But there are literally tons of different weights and sizes. Not sizes, they're all 50 cal. But you get what I'm trying to say. There's a whole bunch of different weights and types. Hollow points, not hollow points, tipped not tipped, round ball, all that stuff. If you can dream it up, somebody probably makes it in a 50 cal uh, slug. I've seen some that are up in like the 300 some grain. These are 177 and 185 we had out here today, but definitely gonna have more testing, um, group testing this thing again in the future and even probably stretching it out past 50 yards. But hey, let me know what you think about the Dragon Claw. We've started doing uh, some video series on this air gun stuff, and I'm absolutely loving it. My son even took a turkey with this thing already with an air bolt, flinging an arrow out of this baby. We already got a turkey hunt on film, so if y'all want to check that type of stuff out, make sure you go watch the video if you haven't seen it. But man, this thing slaps real hard. We've hit it with some steel. I'm absolutely loving this Dragon Claw, the big boar air rifle and again we picked it up from pyramid air 
y'all go check out Pyramid Air. I'll try to leave a link where you guys can check it out. But hey, let me know what you think. Did it do better than you thought? Did it do worse? Uh, like I said, we're going to be picking up some more pellets, testing this thing. And we're going to be doing some more hunting with it. But appreciate y'all watching. We have the best viewers on the internet, but y'all already know that. Make sure you're subscribed, got that bell rung, so you get notified. New videos every single day. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one.